In this session, we're going to use Snapseed and we're going to look at the HDR mode and the brush mode. Okay, let's dive straight in. So I've got my image and I'm gonna to go to HDR in the tools menu. There we go. And instantly I get these pre-built effects for me. So I've got nature and people and so on. So if I click one, I can adjust it manually or I can stick to the pre-built one for me. And all I'm doing is sliding my finger to the left and to the right. And because I'm on saturation, it's doing the saturation. Okay, so that's a super quick one, but let's leave that for now. Now I'm gonna to go to the brush tool because this is a really fantastic tool. So what you'll notice here is that there are different elements at the bottom. So at the minute I've got temperature selected. So as you can see, if I brush my finger over the area, and I'm just doing all of the areas so you can see, it affects the temperature of whatever I brush over. So if I just click the little eye icon at the bottom, you can see where I've gone. So I'm just filling in the blanks and that's created a temperature look over all of it. So let me just go back into the brush settings. So down at the bottom, I might use exposure, for example. So I can just go over there and that will do my exposure. Now that's super, super quick. And say I just want to expose the sea, for example, and I don't want to expose the skyline. So what I could do is I could just undo this and let's start that again. So let's go back to the brush and I'm just gonna zoom in on my image with two fingers pinching outwards and you'll see my brush scales to fit. So if, if I scale my image in, my brush shrinks. So I'm just gonna click my exposure brush there. There we go. And I'm just gonna do this super quick. So there will be a little bit of overspill, but I really want to show you the technique. You can be a lot more refined when you're doing your version of this than I'm gonna be. So here we go, I'm just going along the sea edge. And what I'm, there we go, you see, I've gone over onto the sky and we don't really want to do that, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it will be fine. So if I zoom in a little bit closer, you'll notice my brush gets smaller so I can get a much more refined edge. There we go, just fill all the gaps in there, just touch that edge there. And again, I've got some overspill, but you'll not see it from that far away. And zoom in and just do this top edge here where the sea meets the horizon. There we go. Zoom out and I'll just fill all the rest in. Oops, I've overspilled again. Again, you will be a lot more refined than I am doing this. So you'll be take a lot more care, but there we go. So interestingly, that's created a really interesting look. So my sea is much brighter than the rest of my image. So using the brush tool, you can really create some interesting effects. So if I just go over here and let's have a look at uh, the dodge and burn tool. So let me just dodge and burn this church over here. So look how it's just slightly overexposing. If the sun's hitting that and it's giving me uh, a little bit of an angelic glare. So there we go. So, so that is how you can use the different types of brushes to really accentuate different parts of your image. Again, this was super, super quick and you'll be a lot more refined when you do it with your images. Let me just zoom in here. So I want to show you the dodge and erase tool. So as I'm going across here, this is not an eraser, so I don't need to get confused thinking it's an eraser. Um, okay, so that is how you use the brush tool in combination with HDR. Obviously, you can use them separately. You don't have to use them together. I've just put them together for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, say I don't like what I've done. I can quite easily undo my image. So just undo it, go back, and I can start again. 